planet Earth, home to such diverse species as primates, aquamarine, insects, and plant life. However, there is one species in particular that stands out among the rest, the mountain biker. And although at first glance he may look like a normal human being, there are a few subtle differences. While typical humans are out hiking, the mountain biker is inspecting possible lines, big hucks, and other sketchy, funny things to do. Some people return their shopping cart in a truly mundane fashion, whereas mountain bikers ride that shit in and pop a manual, unless you're a total bitch. Normal people send emails, well, the normal way, whereas mountain bikers well, mountain bikers have their own way of doing that too. Oh, I'm gonna send the shit out of this email. Santa! But that's not the only thing that makes them so shit. unique. Normal people do crazy things like save up their money, buy a house, crazy stuff like that. Mountain bikers have no money and they are living outside of your house, in a van. That's because the mountain biker has a budget reserved for, well, mountain biking and nothing else. When most humans encounter an injury, they need to be consoled and only focus on the pain. The poor baby, you need a band-aid. But an injured mountain biker only has one thing on his mind. Oh my god! Landon, oh. are you alright? Am I okay? Is my bike okay? I don't know. It's all the way down there. Oh. Did you at least get it on camera? Oh, I hope so. Here we see human legs. And here are mountain bikers' legs. Note all the pedal strikes. So many, in fact, you can spot certain constellations. Oh look, I think that's Orion. Mountain bikers also seem to have their own language as well. Oh, bro! Man, when I railed that corner, I was like, Scoo! just like, Shrek! which mostly consists of nonsensical terminology and a mix of exaggerated guttural sounds, accompanied with sporadic hand gestures. And the lips on the jumps were like, Woo! I was puckering so hard, my butthole had bitter beer face, man. Did you catch any of that? During mating season, the mountain biker can be found ripping down his favorite trail, calling out for a potential mate. Oh, oh, she seems interested. She then signals with a callback, acknowledging him as a suitable companion. And they're off. It's also worth noting that mountain bikers, though usually are decent drivers, they can often at times be easily distracted. Oh man, is that a nomad? Can you please pay attention to the road? Is that a 29er? Hey! I wonder what trails they're riding. Oh my god. I want to ask him so many things. Okay, let's take a look at some comparisons here. Normal person taking the stairs, mountain biker taking the stairs. On your right, bro! Normal person opening a beer, mountain biker opening a beer. Normal everyday human. Mountain biker. And I hope they're not so wet. Normal human testicles, mountain biker testicles. Normal tan lines, mountain biker tan lines. Human peeing, oh really, oh, for fuck's sake. Mountain biker peeing, and of course, how a roadie takes a piss. And remember, if you see a mountain biker in the wild, give them plenty of space. Hey, wait, don't feed him. And definitely do not get feed them. Get. Go on, get. Go on, now, get. They need to learn to fend for themselves, and not only rely on humans for sustainability and avoiding things like bonking on long rides. Ah uh, yes, if there's one thing we can all learn from the mountain biker, it's his free-spirited, adventurous lifestyle that makes such interesting creatures. But at the end of the day, we are not all so different. So go get yourself some flannel, acquire some new debt, and get out there and rip the trails with your friends. Because who knows, there might be a little mountain biker in you.